Mm-hmm. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the new room. The new broadcasting BJD room. How exciting is this, right? Yeah. Okay, well, hi. Welcome to Dolly Talk Tuesdays. I'm Asenva, and today we are going to be talking about BJD accessories. This was really cool and a really fun thing for me to kind of research and like pull different um, sites and stuff. I did also ask on my Facebook page for people's suggestions as to where they get their BJD accessories from. Um, and some places I had never heard of before, which is odd because I feel like I should have heard of them because one of them is a distributor and I was like, what the? Well, so yeah. Hey, Bean Sprout, what's going on? So, before I start though, as always, if you have not checked out the blog, feel free to check it out. That is bjdlife.com, um, where I have articles and all sorts of fun stuff for you to read up on. And if you are new to the hobby, uh, it could be a good resource for you. And if you are a veteran, there might be some just other fun tidbits there for you as well. Hi, Janice. How we doing? How we doing? Um, so yeah, bjdlife.com. That is there for you. So, um, BJD accessories, uh, for me personally is like me, sometimes I, I, I get some stuff. Sometimes I'm like, oh man, I think the price is what kills me the most. Sometimes Sarah, Kirsten, how are you doing? Kirsten, hope I didn't say your name incorrectly. Hi. Hello. Um, okay. So let me tell you a good example. Let me tell you a little mini story about this accessories debacle here. Um, my boy Tre, you know, he is supposed to be like a band person in a band. You know, I'm in the band. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to get him a guitar. And so I was like, oh, BJD accessories. I bet somebody makes a guitar or whatever. And oh my gosh, I can't wait to get him one. And then holy guacamole, like some places have BJD sized guitars for like... 60 bucks or I think I had saved one that I was like one day I'll get it and it was like 80 bucks or something it was insane and I was like Ugh, I can't just dish out that much money on it I'd rather get clothes or shoes or wigs or something you know so lo and behold I went to my local Dollar Tree <laughs> and the Dollar Tree actually had these little miniature guitars now are they the most accurate of guitars do guitars only have four strings? No. But it looks pretty good for pictures and stuff like that. And it is pretty much to scale for him. I don't know if I can pull him off here without falling out of my chair. Get over here. Oh my god, you're so freaking heavy. Oh my god. Alright. So yeah, there we go. There's uh, him and the guitar there. I think it's a pretty good size for him. Um... And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's his guitar. So when I ever want to take cute pictures of him looking like he's playing his guitar, you know, that's, uh, just pull out this bad, bad boy here. And then, you know, and then we get, we get with it here. Boom. Wabam. Look at that. You like that? He's like, e yeah. And that was only a dollar. Okay. And then in the, in my mind of minds, I was like, one day I'm going to customize it. I'm going to make it look really cool. And I'm going to put stickers on it and make it look like a really good thing. I haven't gotten to that point guys, but I imagine some of you craftier people would probably be able to just hit the ground running and make it look even better. So yeah, anyway. Oh, hello, more friends. Mizu, thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Costa, how you doing? Oh, I did say it right. Kirsten, 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 Kirsten. Oh, Mm. Jennifer, hello, fan of TA, always glad to see you. Oh, I I feel like I'm going to say your name incorrectly. <laughs> I'm going to say it like in a way that I it's creative. <laughs> Hanonker, Hanonkers? Hon, hono, honokers? Honokers? I, guys, you know, we're just hitting it. Hitting here. Case, K year, K year, Kirsten, Kirsten, Kirsten. More or less. Kirsten. Okay, got it. Kirsten. Yes. All right. Very important. All right. So, yes. Anyway, if you are a big collector of accessories and I do not mention one of your favorite stores, please feel free to hit me up with some of your favorite stores. Um, I was going to show you my accessories bin, which is this one. It is a hot mess. 
Um, welcome to accessory, you know, the pits. And I, I had this really nicely put together and I forget what happened. I think it's just me moving and I just never fixed it. So <laughs> that's the thing. I feel like most BJD collectors, the first accessories that you go out and buy are small foods because those are really easy to find. These are all erasers, actually. You know, some cute things in here, too. Um, and then I feel like a hard runner-up for BJD accessories that people go out and buy are probably, like, jewelry. Like, you start, you know, dabbling into that and making, you know, jewelry for your dolls. But I think by far the most popular thing that people like to look for sometimes for BJDs are glasses. And I definitely went through a phase to where I was buying glasses. And so I would go out and buy little tiny glasses for my dolls. And I think these were supposed to be Kai's. They're super dirty. But I have these. I had a pair of sunglasses too. Somewhere. I don't know where the sunglasses are. Oh, are they here? <laughs> Just kidding. They're right here. Dinny, dinny. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so cool. What a cool guy. What a cool guy. These were threads. I would put them on him and he'd be like, I'm just a cool guy playing my guitar. Look at him. Look at him just rocking all of his, the accessories right now. He's just like, I got my sunglasses. Got my guitar. I'm ready to break some hearts. Oh my God. All right. Anyway, enough of that. So lo and behold, I was like, you know what? Let's showcase some different places where you could get some accessories. Loving the guitar and glasses, the shades, right? Yep, 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 yep. So many eraser foods. Janice has an issue for shoes. I do too. Don't worry. I still have extra shoes even though I bought all those other shoes secondhand. The thing is, okay, so for, hold on. Let me take a detour for you, Janice. Um, the thing with shoes, though, is that I purchased shoes but then I don't get them for the person that needs them. And so, like, I have an extra size, but then not for that per per like particular doll that needs them. So that's why I end up with so many shoes. But, you know, that's how it is. Since I make human jewelry, I will likely just make any jewelry they need. But shoes and glasses and props. Ugh. Yeah. Cowboy boots. Oh, my God. Bean sprout. I don't, bean, I don't even know where I would even look for cowboy boots. Okay. And let me tell you that today I tried focusing more on accessories versus I, I didn't dive too much into jewelry and I didn't dive too much into like, of course, like wigs and eyes and things like that. I looked solely for things that you could be, I guess, more like props, you know, more than anything. But anyway. Let's dive in. So the first one that I got a suggestion for was Legend Doll. And I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I really thought for a hot second. I was like, is this a, like a legit site? Because I don't know why it just really like it was very reminiscent of like <laughs> like a recast site or something. And I was like, is this something for real though? Like, because I don't want to be like talking about like sites. And then I, I think I got it. Like I read somewhere that it's yeah, they're they're pretty legit. They're just a, it's like I think um, Doll K U S because Doll K U S is also like. They're a distributor, but they're like an Asian, like an Asian country kind of like Alice's collection is also you. They're a distributor, but they're like in, in they're like in China, I think. Um, so yeah, right. Legend Dot looks questionable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It always looked it looked weird to me at first. So anyway, somebody was like, "I get all my accessories from Legend Doll," and I was like, "Oh, cool. I don't think I've ever looked at the Legend Doll site." So you go down here, all the way to the bottom. And holy guacamole, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Now, the only thing I will say that I'm kind of disappointed in, and maybe it'll be different today, but the last, like two days ago, when I would click on instrument, it didn't show me instruments. Let's see if it does it today. It kind of did not. It just shows me clothes. Like, me? Like, no instruments. I, I don't know if the link isn't working properly or why it does this but anyway I was really disappointed because I wanted to see 
you know, I wanted to see. Anyway, something that is really cool, though, is that they have a section called background. When you look into Legend Doll's section that's, that's, uh, that says background, you get these little scenery backdrop things. And I think this is pretty cool because I don't think I've ever seen things like this sold. I mean, maybe I just haven't paid any attention to this, but I thought this was a really neat thing to sell. And like, for example, I don't know, like this fairy garden looking background, whatever. They tell you right here that this is the size. So it's for... Um, different sizes that they I guess print it out for so you can get it fitted for like if you're doing a backdrop for USD 12 centimeter dolls BB size MSD and SD and it's just like a photography background prices are different please iron in low temperature from back backdrop only is to send and curl I don't I don't know if anybody has ordered these before, but I'm genuinely curious about them. I really don't know much about them, but it really did pique my interest. And I thought, wow, like, why haven't people been selling this? Like, or I guess, why don't I see it more often? But I guess, you know, a part of me is like, okay, well, I guess a lot of BJD collectors, when they do photography, they actually like to take their dolls to different places. But like, you know, let's say that it's a rainy day or like, let's say it's a BJD meetup. And a lot of people like to do like, um, when they do meetups, they like to make backdrops and stuff like that for you to take pictures with your dolls. And it's like, well, this is pretty cool. Like you could get this and then like, you know, use it and everybody can take pictures with it. So yeah. Photo backdrop. They make them for human photographers. And yes, if you, if they get a crease, you have to iron them, but very low temp or they melt and bubble. But I'm wondering, so Kirsten, I'm wondering, is it just like a poster board? And then you have to mount that poster board onto something because if it's like a poster, like I would imagine like you would need to pin it up or put it up somehow. So that's why I'm just like, I wonder how people would get creative and do this. I would assume that I, I mean, personally, I would probably get like one of those trifold boards or something, depending on how big the poster comes in, and then mount it to that. And then you could get like, you know, I don't know. I have no idea. Like a sign, vinyl? Yeah, I don't know it because it doesn't really say that much. You know what I mean? There's not really like that much that's said, but it does show us here the size by meter, one by 1.5 meters. Is that correct? M for meter, I'm assuming. And then the price changes depending on what size you get. But yeah, no one, I don't see any comments or anything. And I'm just like, I want to know more about this because this is actually pretty cool. I actually think this is pretty neat. So I don't... I don't know. Oh, mine is just a printed fabric, but really big. I wanted to make like a curtain rod or tea frame to mount it. I've seen people just tape it to a wall too. Imagine it's like a plasticky fabric, like at cosplay cons. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I really want to just get one and just see like what it's all about because they've got some pretty, like, look at how many there are. There's like, a bajillion different ones and I think it'd be cute like some of these would be really cute I think you know as little backdrops that you could take photos if you're like a BJD photographer and stuff so <laughs> I obviously need all of them yeah I think they're cool though I I'd never see I had never seen those before and then when I saw that section here in Legend Dolls um site I was like oh that's pretty neat actually that's pretty cool so yeah I don't know, guys. So if you're interested, come take a look at them. They're here. Um, but it also does kind of, I mean, the cheesy part of me, like the part of me that's like trying to be frugal, like thinks, well, you know, you probably could, I don't know if you can find like posters, like probably like on Amazon or something like that and essentially do the same thing, you know, get like a actual like, like a bedroom poster and just use that. I mean, I don't know. I'm not trying to like, down sell 
them or whatever. But I just, I'm just thinking, like, wow, I didn't even think about that, though. You know? It's pretty cool. I want to be a BJD photographer so bad, but all I have is a camcorder, my phone camera. Uh, it's all good. Get some famous places, right? I know. And especially if you have, like, a fantasy-type doll. Can you imagine, like, making an underwater scene? That'd be pretty awesome. Okay? Just saying. All right. Anyway, so that is one really cool thing on Legend Doll that I really um, liked and that I saw. Second thing, I will never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, never, 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 ever, ever, ever say no to furniture. Because I think furniture is really cool to see for BJDs. I'm just really super jelly over the fact that lots of people do, like, yard sales or, like, they do rummage sales or they go to, like... <laughs> and then they like find these like little like furniture pieces that are intended for other dolls but they use them for their dolls but these some of these furniture pieces are like mm, just beautiful like and I ain't gonna lie like why wouldn't you want your BJD to have a bean bag that they could sit on and just be super chill on I think this is really neat <laughs> Like, who, I really want, <laughs> but I, again, 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 the frugal person inside of me is like, I can make a bean bag. I can sew that, right? It's just like a little blob, a little circle. And you just throw your doll on it. No, guys, I don't have any creativity, but man, 40 bucks for a bean bag is kind of like, hmm. Oh yeah, sorry, Pulga, sorry. <laughs> And Bean's, like, translating in comments. Flea market for the non-Texan people, non-Hispanic people, sorry. Flea market. I couldn't think of the English word, sorry. Um, but, yeah, some of this stuff is pretty legit, but I'm also kind of like, dang. The problem with BJD furniture with me sometimes is it is just pricey. This is $185, but dang. Look how cute it is. Look at how these little babies sitting in here. And... I'm assuming these have to be, like, MSD or USD sized. 440 centimeter to 72 centimeter. Really, though? It says it can fit a 72 centimeter. I mean, I guess if it's, he's the only one, but would his legs be, or her legs, be hanging out the side, like, super, like, long, like, on this little swingy bench? I'm not sure. Oh, showing my furniture, my weakness. <laughs> Why do you tempt me? <laughs> I'm sorry. They're they're just so neat though. There's like so many like just cool pieces in here that I'm just like, mm, okay, maybe I do need that. Look at this BJD furniture bookcase that's in the shape of a giraffe. Why wouldn't you want this for your dolls? Look, <laughs> Timmy, get off the furniture. I don't know why. Oh, ooh. oh, hey. Yeah. That's pretty neat, though. It's kind of cute. It's kind of a cute piece, especially if you're, like, a diorama person that makes, like, the little rooms. I could totally see this being, like, put in there. How much was it? It was... 50, 90? 50, 20? 98 dollars! Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I don't know about this. P.S. If you go to a big aquarium store, they sell some sizable backdrops for... Ooh, they tend to be very shiny. Kirsten, that is a good suggestion. Jewelry boxes are a cool option that are designed like furniture. Oh, that's a... You know what, Janice? I think I have seen that, too. Like, at Walmart, like, some really cool ones that look like couches, but then they're, like, jewelry boxes. Kind of like this concept, like an ottoman but it's really just a jewelry box. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty dope. Uh, I'm not going to lie, though, but this looks pretty... This looks magical. And again, I'm kind of like... If you know how to macrame or, like, knit or crochet, I'm pretty sure you could probably make something really cool like this. But look, it's got a little swing inside of it. And look how, like, beautiful she looks in this. She's like, yeah, you know, just vibing in my garden chair with my sister. Look, it hangs! Oh my god. Yes. That's beautiful. Like, if I had a little fairy BJD, I'd just stick her in there and be like, you're beautiful. Stay in there. Yes. But yeah, I'm not sure. Eh, my baby. Yeah. 
128 is kind of steep. Okay, the other thing you have to keep in mind too is that you have to pay for shipping. So imagine that $128 plus shipping. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, that's uh that's a thing. So <laughs> uh I just can't say no, though. It's so beautiful. I don't own any BJD furniture, hence why you see my dolls in the background, like, in the very, very back. Like, I repurposed a BJD box, and I put a white pillow over it. Um, that's as furniture as I, <laughs> as I get. You know. Some of the couches cost as much as a doll, which makes it hurt more. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Been loving these streams so much. Ah, yay! I've been eyeballing Obitsus ever since you showed them. I guess it's time for me to window shop for furniture now, too. Yeah, ooh, but if you get Obitsus, though, if you get the smaller scale dolls, you can buy, like, you can you can get, like, Barbie furniture, and they, well, they vibe in that. Like, this one was, like, a smaller, um, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't even remember where I got these. I think my mom gave these to me. And they got them from somewhere, maybe Mexico. I'm not 100% sure. But my YoSD sit on that. And then, this one's my other favorite thing. I got these. They're actually phone holders. Um, you, like, it's like a phone rest. You put your phone in it. It's supposed to be for your phone, right? And I just used them for my dolls. And for a long time, I think, like, Claire's and, like, some other places were selling phone holders that were, like, little chairs and stuff. And, um, yeah, they work perfectly for YoSD dolls. I even sat one of my MSDs in it. Their lugs are kind of long, but, I mean, still worked. Why is there magnets on here? I'm just realizing right now this dress magnets on it. What the heck? You know. Just another day in my doll room. There you go. My Amazon's chilling in there. So yeah, furniture's like hit or miss, and it's not impossible to find cheaper furniture, like, out in the world, but, you know, in case you were bougie and wanted to spend $128, <laughs> ah, that's what it is. Anyway, they have a lot of really cool stuff, and I have other stores to show you, but if you have never seen Legend Doll before, I definitely give them a, a peruse. They have lots of different things. They are a distributor, so they have these other dolls that they sell, which is pretty neat. I have never ordered from Legend Doll, so I don't know, like, as far as how their shipping goes and, like, you know, their customer service and stuff like that, but... I think it's pretty cool that they have all these things. Not going to lie. I'm going to take a look at one more thing here. Rings. Oh, ooh, those are nice rings. I got rings from one of the other stores I'm going to show you right now. And I don't know how I feel about BJT rings. But these look nice. They look nice on photos for sure. Pretty cool. Anyway, Legend Doll. Moving on. Dollmore. These, like, first um, three stores that I have for you are basically the big name brand stores. And then we're going to get into some other cool little hole-in-the-wall Etsy stores. But, um, Dalmore is notorious for having, like, a bajillion also of accessories and things like that. You scroll to the bottom and then you can find a whole bunch of stuff. You can find sunglasses, steel glasses, accessories, and then furniture, blah, blah, blahs. Uh, I don't remember, I think I got my glasses n not from them, I don't, or did I? I don't remember where I got my glasses from. Was it Mint on Card? Take a drink, Mint on Card. Rest in pepperonis. Um, I don't know. Um, but I can tell you one thing, which I feel like I should probably do another video in itself over. Um... If you want to talk kind of accessories, um, they have a lot of really cool looking doll bags and let me show you guys mine really quickly here. Hold on. Oh my god, there's something inside of it. I forgot I put something in. So this is my dollmore bag. It's actually quite big. It's designed to fit two dolls inside of it. Um and I can actually shove like three and then like, you know, for kicks and giggles, shove like a couple MSDs, you know, maybe one or two YoSDs in these little pockets here. 
it's been like a lifesaver this this bag and as you can see it's here in pink now mine's white kind of would like a pink one but yeah this is definitely i feel like it's worth the money i really like i i use my bag every time i go to doll meets and stuff like that um and I don't want to open my doll bag because it's nasty because it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. But there you can see it has little seat belts for them to sit down in and they kind of just chill. Yes, I was <laughs> love when you bring that bag to me. It's, it's so cute. Yeah, it really is though. It's really cute and it's really nice. And, you know, it's got a little pocket inside of here. And yeah, your little guy's sitting here and you can strap them up up here in the upper part of their body. And then the bottom part here. Um, but yeah, they two, two SDs will sit like L-shaped like this. Um, really nicely in there. So I don't know if this really counts as an accessory to show you, but I just felt like I needed to tell you guys that because it's actually pretty cool. And I've had my bag for, well, I think since I joined the hobby almost, maybe like minus two years. So maybe let's just be gracious and say I've had it for seven years maybe. Um, and yeah, it hasn't broken or the straps haven't pulled off or anything crazy like that. They've, it's lasted me. The doll touches back. Hey, Mooney. That's my sister. Hey, what's up? Yeah, it's it's lasting me for quite some time. So I actually really enjoy um, using my doll bag. It's pretty dope. Um, as far as the rest of the accessories go, you go to doll accessories that are here on Dollmore. And they have a whole bunch of stuff. They have hats, necklaces, little teddy bears hair clips this fancy schmancy looking fan as you can see on the bottom there are a bunch of burbs <gasps> burbs but why would you buy a burb from dalmore when you can just go like to hobby lobby and buy like a little burb oh Are you seeing this? Are you guys seeing this right now? It's called a hell doll. And look at the description. Are you reading this with me right now? This is one of horrible doll. It will be a good play article for your cute dolls. You are also use it as phone accessory. However, it has very bad needlework. Seeking your kind understanding in advance, it will be a good play article for your dolls, especially in Halloween festival. Yo, that's straight up like a voodoo doll or something. Like, and why is there a face in the crotch? <laughs> There's two eyeballs down here. Are they supposed to be pockets? Oh my god, look at that! But seriously, why is there two little things here? What? I heard you like dolls, so we added dolls to your dolls. <laughs> Maybe pockets? I don't know. But 10 points to doll more for making, <laughs> for making this, this doll. I don't know. Okay. All right. Moving on. We're going to pretend that no, maybe we did or didn't see that. <laughs> right. Um, I could have sworn that Dalmore had instruments, and I don't know if they miss. Did I miss it? I'm pretty sure it used to have its own category, and I'm not seeing them. I wanted to show you all the instruments. They actually, back in the day, they did. Oh wait, hold up. Up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. So it's warmer food bouquet, necktie, microphone and glove so maybe in that other section will be there oh hey what's up old sorry sorry microphone what microphone designed for ball jointed dolls a microphone is made out of metal oh hey look that's actually kind of mm, i guess that is i guess that is kind of to scale it definitely looks better, I think, with the smaller size. I wonder if that those initial ones were uh, larger. 5.6 centimeters? Hmm. Huh. It's kind of a cute microphone, though, if you were looking for my... They do. They're electric guitar. Are they supposed to be pinholes? Maybe? I don't know, guys. I don't know what I just showed you with that other thing. So we're just going to walk the other way. <laughs> the article line furniture. Maybe it's in here. 
Um, cleaning tools. Wait, it's probably just actual cleaning tools. Mm, ah, there we go. Musical instrument. So it's under doll, article, and furniture. And on the top, it's up here and it says musical instrument. Oh, oh. Yo, didn't they have more instruments than this? Am I just like too old school? I only see the guitar here, which is a really nice looking guitar. $28, not too bad. But again, you have to think about shipping. Um, and then it is... The first picture is modeled for a 61 centimeter, and then the other one's for a 71 centimeter doll. So that's pretty nice, yo. I really like it. It's really nice looking. This is a really nice looking guitar, and it has like the appropriate amount of strings in it, not like my Dollar Tree one. They had more back in the day, right, Jennifer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they discontinued a lot of the instruments, so I'm kind of sad about that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure like they used to sell like a flute and like some like a violin or something. And I'm really sad to see that they don't have it anymore. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so that was underneath the all article and furniture section. Why is there a section that's just a spoon? Is it just a spoon? <laughs> it's a spoon. Oh, okay. All right, you know, just doing its own thing. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, but with this though, okay, so this is really nice. This is cool. It's like a camera. Okay, maybe your doll is a photographer or something like that. But I think I've seen some miniature, like, and I'll show you in a bit too, on, like, Amazon and stuff. Like, you can get, like, pretend, like, miniature items there. So, I mean, if you don't want to pay this plus, like, the $50 shipping that probably will ensue with it. Um, there are other places to check for miniature cameras. So, you know. <clears throat> oh, Let's has violins, a trumpet, and a saxophone. Oh, nice. Do you have one for Trey? It seems like he would play, or do you think he's more bass? No, nah, he's definitely guitar all the way. You kidding me? Look at him. He's like, with this face, what do you think? Yeah, no, he's, yeah, he's, he's guitar. He's lead. So that's who, that's who he is. It's his life. Wow, look at, wow, look, a Bible. Guys, look. What? Oh, wow. It's like leather bound. Look at this guy. He's just like, just in here reading the Bible. <laughs> just chilling. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool, though. Oh my god, look at these pool floaties. Burb pool floaties. Yes, thank you. Oh my god. And then wings. Are these MSD? Wings. Wait, hold on. I'm just going to take a look at this for science here real quick. Three-dimensional wing designed for a ball-jointed doll. It is made of plastic material. Very light. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's... Oh, it's like a pin. Interesting. Okay. So it's just a pin, and you just pin it on. Okay, that's actually kind of smart, though. Hmm. If you're someone that 3D prints, or you're somebody that makes, like, resin pieces this is a really smart little business venture to get into just making a little pair of wings and people can just clip it onto the back of their clothes or even if you had magnets and just put a magnet that's pretty smart and they want 225 for it hmm there you go you're welcome people that are in businesses that might be a good idea if you're um looking to make more accessories that's pretty cool hey look they have food and eggs and handcuffs <laughs> You know, for those things. Uh, ooh, another little rabbit, another little thing. Oh, these are really nice, though. These are goggles, like little goggle things. Yeah, uh, I'm on the lie. This is, I could be here all day looking at doll more stuff with you all. But again, I would love to showcase some other stuff and some other Etsy shops and stuff. But yeah, so if you have not checked out and you're looking for doll accessories, there's a whole bunch. And as you can see here, they actually kind of label them out as to um, different things that they have. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff. The only thing is, is that is it's just like you have to pay for shipping and it's so rough. Like, uh, man, you know, I don't know. Maybe if you're already planning on buying a whole bunch of stuff or maybe if you do like a group order with people, it might be more worth it. Um you know, to each their own. So that is Dalmore. Dalmore. 
of course, last but not least, as far as the bigger people to showcase today, um, Alice's collection, I ain't gonna lie, I think this is where I got my glasses from. I'm pretty sure I got them from here. So, they're really affordable. You can get one third, one fourth, one third. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I got them from. Um, but yeah, man, 12 bucks for glasses. Yeah, look, it kind of looks like these here. I'm pretty sure it's one of these. And then the other ones, I'm not sure where, but these are cute. I like these. Yeah, I'm a sucker. Like, I went through a phase where I wanted glasses for a lot of my dolls, and I don't know. It's it's nice. Like, they're nice to have, but sometimes I got kind of nervous, especially with the ones that are just metal, because it was just, like, I was scared that I was scratching, like, pieces of the face up off, like the MSC or whatever, and I was like, Ugh, I gotta be careful putting this on. But they look cute, though, and they're cute for photos, so, you know, there's that. Um, but you go into their section that is labeled other down here in accessories, and that's where you're going to find some more things available. Lots of little jewelry pieces and things like that. One thing that I thought was pretty cool is they had this little gem case, which holds, I think, one of their dolls in there. But I was like, this is cute. And there's like a little, little zippy pocket there you can put all their little accessories, like, right on top kind of like a little bento lunchbox but your little dolls inside of it so i thought that was a really neat looking case um i don't know what size gems are i don't know i haven't i mean i didn't do the homework for that but i'm i'm imagining it's like usd like or smaller so i mean if you had other dolls that were like this size you could take them in this cool little lunchbox you know there's reference to reference a TikTok, no, 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 no problems. Maybe some later. No, 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 no. There might be some problems, but uh, we'll get to that later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I love glasses. Still not quite over that phase of the anime. Yeah, I'm not over that phase of the anime. That's the first boy I go for. Am I right, ladies? Okay, I do remember when they came out with these pillows, though, and I was thinking to myself, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about buying BJD pillows. But, I mean, I guess, like, really honestly, like, unless you make them yourself, like, I really don't see them out and about. But, you know, they sell these cute little pillows. So, if you wanted a pillow for yourself, you know where to go. Um, they also sell a whole bunch of other things that I don't, I don't want to label them as accessories for the purpose that I was trying to go for today. This is more of supplies to me, but this they do sell like elastic and a bunch of other stuff. I have always wanted to get this laptop. I've always wanted to get it, and I have never gotten it at all. And then somebody, I think it was SDR Cow, said that you can get them for cheaper off of... I don't know if it's Amazon or he got them from eBay or where he got them from. Um, but it's basically, I think it's like almost the same thing too, because it has a mirror right here in the inside. Um, yeah, and they look great. Yes, they're cute, right? I love them. They're super duper adorable. So yeah, that's Alice's collection. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get to it. Let's show some Etsy stores, okay? So my first one that I have for you, you know, don't, you know, this killer sweater, sorry, that's there, but, you know, it's there, but, you know, someone's cup of tea. Hey, yo, what? Huh? Uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Papa doll. Um, I, I was attracted to them because I saw these glasses in particular. They were like little heart glasses, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then once I clicked into their store, I was like, oh, wow, there's actually like a whole bunch of really cool accessories that they have. Um, including, like, different kinds of shoes and, like, hats and I, I don't know why this sweater, like, I'm, like, giving it the eye and I kind of like it, but, you know. Um, <laughs> but they have a whole bunch of stuff in, in, this, in their shop. Um, also, I like these Starbucks cups. They're kind of cute, too. Um, but yeah, they're, it looks like they're based out in China. Again, I have an order from, I don't think any of these that I'm mentioning today, so I really don't know 100%, like, how everything goes or customer service or blah 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 but i do think it's cool that they do offer quite a lot of accessories um in their shop another thing that i really like is watch a watch look they actually have a watch for a bjd and you can i think it just says for all one third sd17 uncle doll accessories blah 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 and you know i think it looks pretty cool 
If you are like me, though, and you are old school, oh, God, and you are old school, I probably just made you deaf right now. So sorry about that. Um, uh, I don't know if I can dig it out fast enough, though. Oh, here it is. Yes, I did. If you're cool like me, you raided Claire's, and you got yourself a watch from the days when they made rings. They were actually, this was a ring for, like, people. And, um... It's actually supposed to be like this, like a ring, but it fits. SD dolls pretty, pretty darn good actually. The SD size dolls, this this watch actually works really well, and it's elastic, little pieces. Yeah, mood. I have one. <laughs> you could get a ring watch, right? So I don't know. I don't think I've seen Claire sell these in a long time, but I'm pretty sure you probably could find some online. Um, but yeah, this is where I got my watch, but I do get excited anytime I see a shop sell, uh, watches. Cause I'm like, oh, that's such a cool, like, you know, it's like a basic thing that most people have. Like, why wouldn't a BJD wear a watch? Like if a lot of people wear watches, um, normally as well. So yeah, you know, there's my, I'm old flex. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, this is cute though. I like mugs too. I'm kind of a sucker for mugs. So yeah, so check them out. That's pop it all. Oh, I forgot to tell you, all these shops and stuff like that that I'm checking out today are actually already in the info bar um, down below. So if you're like, oh man, I wanted to check out that store that had the the killer sweater in it, <laughs> you can take a look um, there in uh, my info bar down below. So yeah, but yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff here. Um, you know, cigarettes for your dolls. I, I don't know. Maybe your, your character does that. I don't know. So a lot of cool stuff, even a little purse here, um, and not too badly priced either. I wonder what their shipping is like though. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was interesting. I'm not quite sure about this. I kind of feel like it's like when you were a kid and if you were a girl and you were wearing a headband and then you just would just play around sometimes and put it here. I used to pretend I was Cyclo Cyclops, you know, that was a thing, but you know, <laughs> that's apparently a pair of glasses though. I'm not sure if it's a pair of glasses. Like, to me, it kind of, oh, well, maybe, because, look, it's got the little things here. But it kind of, this one just reminds me, that they, like, as if when you were a kid and you just put the headband down around this part around your eyes. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's there. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, that was Nabadol. Pabadol. Just kidding. Not Naba. What the heck am I saying? Pabadol. And I'm finally going to close out of it. Next. Okay. I really need to know if any of you all know about this. Or have a kit but I stumbled upon this and I was like yo this is genius but I think it's only it would only work for vinyl dolls so this is a no hole earring and body jewelry for smart doll dolphy and BJD Ipple house I'm assuming the vinyl Ipple house? I don't know I'm not sure um but I was like what what do you mean no hole like I've pierced like three or four of my doll's ears because I was like, I was desperate to get earrings in them and I didn't want to sit there and spend the time of, you know, gluing. Um, <clears throat> $10 though. And then this shop sells a whole bunch of earrings to go with it. And I was like, wait, what? And so I'm not sure. I think it's honestly just a magnet. I think it's just a magnet you put on the inside and then the you know the earrings that you buy have that flat magnet so it sticks to it but how genius is this though mm. 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 for reals you can use any kit and cat earring it's not badly priced either okay I think it's cool. I was just like, I ran across this and I was just like, what the heck? Like, I wish they could do, <laughs> do something like this for resin. But what I'm assuming is that I think I'm thinking that they're doing some type of like, they're putting like a, because when you have the vinyl heads, I have a vinyl head somewhere here. Don't I? Somewhere. Hello, vinyl head. Where are you? I need you to van a white for me. Oh, there you are. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my God. Okay. So, when you see our inside of our vinyl head here. So, here's our ear right here. 
the ear would be going down there. Do you see that little, I don't know if you can see that or not, how there's like a little dip there on the side? I'm assuming they had to have done that. Like, there's got to be in that kit, there's probably like a little metal magnet or something like that that, they, that you have to adhere to the inside of the cap maybe. And then they sell like a whole bunch of earrings. Like, and they're cute too. And like other body jewelry stuff. Like, it's... I'm like, dang, that's so smart. Like, but all the earrings that they have for sale are fitted for this kit. So you buy the kit, and then you can buy, like, these other earrings to go with it. But I was just like, dang, that's innovative and, like, smart. Like, wow. You could put a disc magnet inside and, yeah, use a little putty. So I'm pretty sure you get free shipping after $35. I have some on my resin dolls, and you got to be careful because weaker connection, but they work. Really? Yeah, I didn't know if it would work on a resin because you ha it has to go through the resin, and it's a little bit trickier at that point. But I saw this and I was just like, what? That's genius. So smart. And there's so many cute earrings to choose from, too. And I was like, dang, this person's a genius. Like, what the heck? Like, seriously. Yeah, because that's like, that's all it is really that they need. I mean, that's it. Just a magnet. I mean, that's so smart. So, kitten cat shop. Um, and they're on Etsy there. So yeah, go and check them out if you've never heard of them. I had never heard of them, so I'll buy the magnets in bulk because the kit is literally just magnets and putty. Oh, is that really what you have them? You you have this kit, Fanatia? Girl, I got you. I have a ton. Oh, I just see. I saw it earlier. Yeah, that's not bad. Which is what I have on my resin boys. Oh, see, like it's such a smart alternative because. I mean, I kind of YOLO'd and I just like drilled the holes in my doll's ears, not gonna lie. And I mean, I don't really, it doesn't matter, but sometimes it is really hard to put in earrings on them. Um, especially the studs. I have to clip down the the end of the stud because it's too long sometimes. Um, and then I have to get like something to close up the bo the back because it's so close to the to the inside of the to the not inside but to like the back side here. You know, it's a it's an ongoing battle, but you know that's what it is. So anyway, yeah, check them out, man. Fanatia, I guess like Fanatia can give us a lesson of her experience in the comments there in our discussion because yeah, I thought these were cool. So I'm glad someone else has bought them too or purchased them. So sweet. Next, Bella Chicks Doll World, BJD Wigs Furniture and More. As it's stated, they sell BJD Furniture and More. I really like um, this little Starbucks cup set. It's really cute. I'm kind of a sucker for anything that's like the little Starbucks stuff or whatever. It's kind of cute. Um, but as you can see, they make a lot of different like little things. Now, they do label, which I do appreciate, what scale works best with them. So like, for example, this flat screen TV that's pretty awesome looking is for one third and one, f one fourth and one sixth, not one third, one fourth and one sixth scale dolls. So, and they state like, you know, for MSD dolls, which is pretty awesome. And then, um, yeah, they have a whole bunch of stuff. I really like this tea, this Lipton tea. I think that's pretty cool too. And as you can see, there's a lot of accessories. Yeah, I don't know. This is what drew me to their page though here. But they do, let me see. Label them off on the side for MSD and uh, MSD and SD sized accessories here. So you can take a look, and they have a bunch of cute stuff. Look at this little wedding ring. Oh my god, yes! My brain was just like, photo ops! Lots of glasses. I do love glasses. I'm a sucker for glasses. I mean, it's pretty dope. Oh my god, look at this wedding ring! <laughs> I would, I totally would. I'd be like, Kai, you need to get on the program. Let's go, man. It's been 10 years. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Uh, dolls. Let's see here. One fourth furniture. Let's take a quick look. Dang! Bunk beds? What? These are actually really nice, actually. For reals. And look, they have a kit. A canopy bed that comes in a kit. Wow, this is made out of what? I guess it's like a DIY couch. So they sell you like the... What is this? Carb? or wood or 
you need to glue the parts together yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Laser cut. So I'm assuming it's got to be some type of wood, which is nice because I thought it was going to be. Oh, it has to. Look how thick it is. That's pretty neat. It's like if you want to make your own couch, but they make you the frame and then you just dress it. That's pretty neat. I've never seen that. Bye, sister. Love you. Yeah, one of my my SD boys had to thick a body for the magnets to work. Didn't try the earrings, but they work for my SD boys. Gotta be careful because we grew. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bought so much from her store. Everything is great. Plus, they have mini Furbies. Really? Okay, cool. Our furniture has options to get as a kit or pre-painted. It's MFD wood. It looks like plywood, kind of. Right? I mean, I was really, like, impressed with their stuff. I mean, it just looks really good. I... Haven't ordered anything from them before, but I'm glad to see that some of you guys that are in the chat have. Um, because, yeah, I mean, they do look pretty awesome. Like, a lot of these little accessories, and even this little vanity light thing. Look! I feel like, I wish I could get, like, a my life together and make, like, really cool dioramas. Like, I see a lot of people out there that are making their dioramas for their BJDs. And this would be really cool. I think this is a really good addition to be like, yeah, let me make just fill it now make my cute stuff it's so cool dang there's so many pages holy cow oh my god so many they have so much stuff this is an insane amount of inventory they have what dang i had only seen like the first page and i was like yeah i'll add them to the list for today wow so if you have not checked them out please do again they are in the um comment section down below dang that's pretty cool did not know about that. I only only looked at the first page. Moving on. Rin's Miniaturin. So for those of you who were interested in foods, I thought these were super cute. Um, they had these and they had one third scale, one fourth scale, and of course, one sixth scale. And, you know, get your one third doll some ice cream or some cookies. These are cute. Those are really cheaply priced. That's really nice. Um, and of course, as... I feel like for the smaller ones, I I don't know why, like, is it? I, I don't know if it's just easier. Like, there's so much 1-6 scale doll items. Maybe it's just because 1-6 scale dolls are, like, I don't know. Like, he, are they easier to make things for? Like, I don't know. But there's so much as far as accessories and props go for them. I feel um, even if when you look at my drawer of accessories, like, when you look at a lot of this stuff, like, it is more fitted for the smaller ones rather than my larger ones. So, you know, that's a thing. So, yeah. Lots of cute little things. And, yeah. I thought they were cute. And I like these little pancakes. These little pancakes are super cute. And the croissant. The croissant. And look, Easter cookies just in time for Easter. You know. Barbie sized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. So, yeah. Super cute. You want pancakes? Go get pancakes. All right, moving on. Doll clothes and accessories by Magic Doll Accessories. Um, they make a bunch of headpieces and crowns and flower arrangement thingies. I really like the cat ears. I thought cat ears were cute. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Sh a little shout out there to Bean. Bean there has actually makes beautiful flower crowns and crystal crowns. Also, <laughs> please go check her out. I was like, hey, yo, do you have your Etsy up? She was like, no, bro. And I was like, oh, bro, I'm talking about your stuff. I'm talking about it today. Yeah. I know, low-key, that's a side joke. Side inside joke. But anyway, uh, I so I found this person that has some things here, and I uh, just wanted to kind of share with you all. I thought the cat ears were actually really cute. I don't think I've seen a lot of cat ears um, out there. And they do say that, you know, you can put it on all these different kinds of dolls and they actually have them categorized by wigs. Yeah, I'm the worst at stuck in your shop. But Bean, though, your stuff is so cute and pretty, too. I do take custom orders, though. Bean Sprout Sumoa, Bean Sprout Momo on Instagram. Yeah, for reals, please do go check her out. She is, she's, she's one of my, my, my buddy old pals, my friends in the, in the BJD community, my local community. And yeah, that's how I, I met Bean, you know, so. Yeah, 
shedabomb.com. So that's how it is. Um, but yeah, I thought these were cute. And I, I really wish that the owner had more pictures of their crowns on other dolls. Um, because I think they look really pretty, but I want to see them on the dolls. So I skipped down here to the bottom and that's where I got to see, I guess, more like on dolls, what they look like. Um, so yeah, this one's cute. These little mouse ear ones are cute too. And then of course they have some more pictures down here. Um, but yeah, really pretty, like colorful. I like a lot of the florals and things like that there. So yeah, I work so much, so I never get to make pre-made stock. I know, Bean. It's okay, Bean. Yeah, these are cute, Bean. <laughs> I wanted to show you your stuff. <laughs> uh, it's not good, Bean. I do love a you. All right. Uh, why isn't this letting me go back? Okay, just kidding. All right. So, yes, they have a lot of cute little things. Again, there's there's this linked in uh, my info bar down below. A lot of crowns. Little bunny ears are cute. And they have a little unicorn horn, a little cat unicorn. They're very cute, though. I think it's really neat. Um, not going to lie, like, I kind of wish that I could. I feel, like, I feel like my level of creativity should be able to produce maybe a headband, but, like, I can't even take it there. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> no crafting bones in my body. But yeah, so she's kind of separated here. She even has some on sale, it looks like. Oh, dresses on sale. A collection. Oh, okay. She makes like black clothes too. Okay. And then antler ears. Who doesn't love a good pair of antler ears, you know? <laughs> Thanks for offering. I need to make a portfolio or something at least. Yes. Oh. All right. So yes, that is them. Doll clothes and accessories. The magic doll accessories. Moving on. Oh, crud. That's right. Just kidding. I wanted to show you guys one more thing from... That's why I saved it off to the side. They have a bike, guys. What? They have a one-third scale sized bike on Legend Doll. I mean, that's pretty dope. Not gonna lie. That's pretty awesome. This guy's like, hey, what's up? I'm riding on my bike. My classic old bike. Get on. Get, sitting in the back. Japanese style, cool. We'll get in trouble because that's against the law. Come sit down. Ah, uh, it's really neat. Now, like, I feel like for picture sake, it looks great, but I feel like when you really look at it, I'm kind of like, did they do a good job on it? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, they're asking $58 for it. But, I mean, it's really hard to find large-scale items for one-third scale dolls like this. So, I don't know if that's worth it or not. But, just FYI, that is, this was a thing. And I wanted to, sh that's why I had it saved off to the side. So, yeah. Sent you a message on Facebook about possible goodies. Okay, fan. I will check your message. Woo. Okay. I'm going to exit out of that. Last but not least, some things that I found on Amazon because, you know, me, I actually do like to dabble and buy a lot of things off of Amazon. Granted, I have personally never purchased any of these, but these are good starts, I guess. Like, if you have never, like, purchased accessories for your dolls and then just back in the day, I know a lot of people would go this route. You know, you go for those miniature toys or whatever and then you can use them because they're pretty much to scale for dolls. So, I remember this being a big thing, like the little soup bowls. Um, they look like little ramen bowls and stuff, and they, um, you can see it in comparison to this person's hand. They're pretty, it's a pretty good size. Probably more for, like, MSD or USD sized um, dolls, but, I mean, with this kit, you get, like, a bajillion. You just have to cover up that hole, because there's going to be a little hole there from the, um, from the keychain. If you didn't want to do that, though... You can just search miniature food. <laughs> I searched miniature food and I got like all these different things. And there's even some soup bowls here that I, looks like they don't have a hole in them. But there's a whole mess of things here. Now, I would just double check that once you... Oh, damn, look at this dollhouse. Once you do start checking out these miniature food stuff on online... 
Um, you know, just pay attention to the size. If you're really trying to shoot for a specific BJD size, like SD sizes or larger, then you really want to make sure because something that is technically for like one fourth or like more for one six scale balls, for example, um, let's see here. For example, I mean, this is like a small accessory. This is like a headset, but I mean, obviously this is not going to fit, you know, an SD size doll or an MSD size doll. Maybe it just fits kind of like my USD size dolls. Um, and then the opposite, if you go too big, for example, this, this is actually, I don't remember, like a lip gloss or something that I got as somebody gave this to me. And it's like a Mountain Dew. But this looks really big compared to like my other my other dolls, but it's not quite like uh like a from the soda machine size for for them. It kind of is. It's just real skinny. I don't know if you can see that. Can oh God, can you see that? I don't know. Where did it go compared to him? Here. Whoop. I don't know if you can tell or not. So yeah, it's just kind of like eh, hit or miss whenever you buy some of these miniature things. Um, and especially if you're going to buy like a whole bunch of them, like how some of these come with like 50 pieces, like just kind of check the size to see and think like, mm, would that really work for my doll or not? Like before you start like throwing down money. So yes, <laughs> um, we got in trouble for riding bicycles like that with my husband. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think a lot of people like fantasize that, like, or they talk about that and in animes, like they make it seem like it's totally fine. But yeah, I think it's like illegal in Japan to ride that way. So yeah. Um, bean sprouts says I have the recycle bin. What? I just use it for holding Q-tips while I craft. Are you serious? Oh yeah. Cause I, I think I saw that somewhere. Was that in here? Yeah. These little trash bins. Okay. For like a hot second though, I was like, that'd be really funny to buy one and then put like a Yo SD in there and be like, my trash child. I don't know keep getting mini brands. I lied to my husband and said that they are for our daughter. <laughs> Janice. Make a fake kid at the store. People give me weird looks. Oh my god. Ooh, Morgana. That is a great suggestion. I always search 18 inch doll American girl size for SD items. That's a good idea. Yeah. Trash child. I did. I just wanted to put one in there for fun. For science. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, one of the ones that I saw that I thought was really cute was this um, set. It was like a sushi set, and I was like, this is so cute. Look at the little baby sushi. So you want to get some sushi for your dolls? Perfect. Um, now, this is really tiny. Somebody actually has a photo of their dolls with it, and they look more like Barbie dolls. You can see how small they look. They look like Barbies. So this is definitely, I mean, it looks like really big, like in the picture or whatever, but it's definitely like more for USDs, this scale. And then this one, I saved this one. Uh, it's a 50 piece miniature food with drink bottles for one twelfth, And that's your golden piece right there is one twelfth. Um, and that's him holding it in the hand. So it's, I mean, they're pretty small. But I just liked all the stuff that I like, especially these on the bottom, the little drinks on the bottom. That's that's so cute. But yeah, those are really tiny. They're like kind of small. Our fake kid's name is Timmy. <laughs> I like that. It's funny. Moving on. I saw this backpack, though, as I was looking up BJD, like not BJD accessories, but like doll accessories. And this is like a mini backpack because that was another thing too that you could pick up at Claire's was like backpack keychains. You could also buy like shoe keychains and you could just go get two of them and then you would have like two shoes although they weren't necessarily the left and right. But that was like a cheap way to get like a pair of shoes. Um, But I was like, hey, and I even tried to like think with the dimensions. It's 7.5 by 2 point uh, by... 7.5 by 7. Wait, did I think about this the wrong way? 7 by 7? Anyway, I thought maybe it would be good for an SD size. 7 centimeters. I don't have a thing in front of me. Or 3 inches by 3 inches. 3 inches probably by 3 inches. I feel like maybe... 
Maybe, I don't know, maybe in a, I feel, maybe, I don't know, maybe an SD sized doll, I couldn't like really, I, these look like they're photoshopped onto the doll, so that makes it even harder to like think about it, but I saved this one, because I was like, oh man, it comes with like so many backpacks, it's like six mini doll backpacks with mini books and eight pieces, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I think it just comes... I don't know if it comes with any of these other things. I think it's just the notepads. Yeah. The little notebooks. But I was like, man, I feel like this would be good for an SD size doll, but I didn't see that many people, like, post photos of what their products look like when they got them in, but, I mean, I think I'd be down. And, of course, once you start doing that, the rabbit hole opens of other things that are down here that are, like, similar. So, yeah, I thought this was a good idea. But, yeah, it doesn't come with the two straps. It looks like it's just one strap. Maybe it's two straps? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't know. Anyway, I saved that one there too for y'all just for fun. And then of course, there you go. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to all you mini brand collectors. This was another thing. I mean, but this is kind of fairly new-ish. Um, but yeah, mini brand makes mini brands. You guessed it. Of little things. Toy little mini things that fit in your hands. And, yeah, I think, I mean, I've seen these pretty much, like, at Walmart and at Target. And, of course, you can buy them here off of Amazon as well. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't have any of these items from the mini brands. But I feel like it's pretty cool. And I would definitely probably get sucked into getting some eventually. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> they do mini toys, too. Yeah, right? I think I saw that somewhere. See, look, you can get these cool bundle packs and get mini brands things. Look, toy mini brands. This is what you're talking about. What, what? Look at all the little baby toys you can get. Are they for, like, more like EOSD or are they that small? I'm assuming because it's, like, the hand. So maybe that would be more. That Rubik's Cube would probably be pretty small. Oh, mini brands do seem to fit SD best most of, most of the time. A bit large for my MSDs mostly. Really? Okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah, because I really haven't jumped into this side of the world um, as far as accessories go. But, yeah, I, I, I knew that they existed, and I knew I needed to mention them for today because I was like, somebody out there. Somebody out there already probably does collect these, so I got to talk about it. So that's what it is. Uh, the toy ones and art supply ones do seem smaller for MSD, so, oh, okay. Good to know, good to know. So, yeah. And that's it. That's all I had. I, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of other stores and places like that where you can get BJD accessories from. Um, but I think that's a pretty good start. And if you have never heard of some of these stores, um, feel free to check them out. I have them there in the link section down below. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Hmm. This Friday, I do have a video that was requested for me to do. Somebody asked me some questions. So I'm going to be doing some Q&A this Friday um, for my video. So please make sure you check that out. It will be airing Friday at 1 p.m. That's the time I've been releasing those videos. Yeah, so uh, I'll be checking it out. As always, guys, um... Super duper thanks for joining me on my Dolly Talk Tuesday today. And I was kind of like, look at all these crazy things. Blah, 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 blah. And then I just ran through so many different things. Um, but I hope you guys had fun. I'm always excited to see you guys here. Uh, I really love chatting with you guys and learning from you all. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'll have to figure out what we're going to do for next Dolly Talk Tuesday next week. So yeah, thanks for chilling with me. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys have a dolly-tastic day, and we'll see you guys in another video soon. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to check out the, me the messages you sent me, Fanatia. All right, bye, my friends. Bye, you're the best. Goodbye. Yay, I'm so glad you're here, too.